Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm popping in to do a quick swatch video and review of the Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balms. These are classic ones. Uh, they've been around for quite some time. They've recently had a resurgence because of how close the Red Dahlia one is to the viral Clinique Black Honey lipstick. But I don't have that because I got a trio. Actually, I just gifted to my sister and I got it from her in exchange for other things, um, other makeup that she might prefer because these are quite sheer and it will barely show up on her pigmented lips. But on my lips, which are quite pale, these show up quite well. And I really, really love them. So yeah, I'm wearing uh, the shade Rose at the moment on my lips. It's a nice natural looking red. Let's quickly reapply. What I like about it, uh, the formula is quite simple, but it's very moisturizing. The pigment is just enough for my pale lips. And I like how uh, these shades, though they're quite sheer, the pigment shows up and you can really see the difference between the three especially these two like you would think that they would barely show up but they do and i like the subtle difference that they give uh, to the look in case i'm using them and also i can apply them without even looking in the mirror and i'm not worried about it going uh, all over my lips and well they're not transfer proof but it's a tinted lip balm it's i don't think it's meant to be transfer proof they never claimed to be, and I never really expected them to be because, you know, again, it's very moisturizing. It moves quite well on the lips. See? They're transverse. But yeah, I love them, and I just want to show you the three swatches because I'm sure Red Dahlia has been swatched quite a lot already. But these are the three that I have, and I actually want to get some more because they're quite easy to have around. And... Yeah, I'll get to swatching. So this is Rose. The next shade is Pink Blossom. It's really pale pink. It's quite cool toned. So it doesn't really work with the makeup that I have on right now, which is very warm toned. But if I'm going for a fresh pink look, this would really finish it up. See? It's like a nice cool tone. Almost baby pink. Pink blossom. And the third one is Sweet Violet. As the name suggests, Violet don't tinted lip balm. So I love uh, how I can't go wrong with just like piling it on. I really love the moisture. I have to admit, this is like my least favorite out of the three that I have because it's quite cool toned, as you can see. I don't think um, it fits me as well as the other two. It's with Violet. So we'll just do quick hand swatches so that you can see. So this is Sweet Violet. Quite cool toned. And then we have um, what was this? Pink Blossom. It's quite pink. And Rose. I like these two the most, but Sweet Violet's okay too. They're basically no-brainer shades, and I feel like they would work with a lot of skin tones. Also, especially if you have like a more pigmented lips than mine. So yeah, these are the Bird's Bees Tinted Lip Balm, and 
that's it for another Katsu Daily Lip. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I've seen my subscriber count moving very, very slowly. But I haven't been posting for a couple of months. So I hope to remedy that this coming very months. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.